In this video, I'll demonstrate how to stop these high-pitched sounds that can be generated in a servo-driven mechanism by using the easy FFT feature of Sigma N Plus to set the notch filter. Hi, I'm Matt Pelletier. This ball screw moves a small load connected to a rod and mounting plate. The Sigma 7 motor drives this ball screw through a bellows coupling. I'm connected to the Sigma 7 amplifier with Sigma Win Plus and commanding the move through program jog, although the command could instead originate from the controller. I haven't done any tuning from default, so it's still in the adaptive tuningless mode. And many times when it stops there at the motor end, there's this high-pitched sound, which is just a little bothersome. It even seems to be visible on the trace of the move here in the torque signal. Here is a high-resolution trace of the end of the move. And the torque reference signal is oscillating at a really high frequency with an amplitude of about 20%. I can zoom in to measure the time for 10 cycles and the frequency is therefore 1081 hertz to get rid of high frequency sounds like this generally you use a notch filter if the noise is loud enough the sigma 7 will by default detect the frequency and automatically set a notch filter but when the noise is not quite loud enough a good way to set the notch filter is with easy fft here in the diagnostic menu if you see it grayed out like it is here, it just means I need to close any other software functions. Then with everything closed, go back into the menu and Easy FFT will be available. This message warns that the motor may move up to one quarter rotation, but I think there's room. Servos on, you have instruction amplitude. This refers to the sinusoidal torque that will be generated during this function. And you could turn that down if the motor's oversized, or turn it up if you're not getting a good result. And let's click start. That produced some chirps, and it's analyzed the frequency response, and found 1157 hertz for the notch filter. Measurement is complete, and you're prompted to write that result into the notch filter parameters, PN408 and 409. So I'll do that. And OK to the warning that the motor may have moved to a different position. I'm running the move again. And looks like the noise is gone. I'll take a quick trace here. And the torque signal is clean. I'll read in the parameters and compare it with defaults. Reveals that a PN408 and 409 were changed by the easy FFT function. Now for a couple of tips. You might find it insightful to run easy FFT a few times at different carriage positions before committing the result to the parameter. Also, some systems may produce noise at more than one frequency. In that case, you can run easy FFT again to set a second notch filter. Thank you for watching this video. Please note that the product manual contains a detailed section on tuning. Additionally, Yaskawa offers free hands-on self-guided video training covering the basics of Sigma Win Plus software and servo tuning at www.yaskawa.com slash self-guided. We also offer a live tuning lab where you can come in and tune a mechanism like this one for yourself with the guidance of an instructor. For more information, please go to yaskawa.com.